Welcome everyone, Brett Alexander here, and today we are going to go over the Tone Corset Analog Compressor from Electro Harmonics. They have been banging out some great pedals lately, and this one is no exception. Because uh, compressors go, you probably have tried a few, maybe not liked a few, but I think you're going to change your mind with this one here. The big thing with this is, and with a lot of good compressors, is this blend knob, which blends your dry signal with the compression at, you know, however you're doing it there. And, well, let's give it a shot. So what we have here, we have the Deluxe Reverb Reissue ES-339 with Seymour Duncan pickups. This is our dry signal. There's that, and this is the tone corset. So whether you're a country picker, or slide player, or you just want something to give you a little bit more sustain, this definitely will fit the bill. What we have here is we have volume, the sustain, attack, and the blend knob. And right here in the middle, we have a pad. So if you have uh, really high output pickups, uh, you can actually hit that and it drops it down a few decibels. For example. Gets rid of a, to a little bit of the boominess also. So we're going to take that back off. Going to let you hear the difference in the blend knob here. So this is the blend knob about 9 o'clock. With it off. It actually brightens up and gives you a little bit more presence also, so it doesn't squish it too much. I'm going to go up about halfway with the blend knob. You can definitely hear the compressor working, but it's not squishing the signal so much that, you know, you're not really getting all of the tone out of what you're picking. And let's get this up about three quarters of the way here. So this is the blend knob, almost about 75%. Now we're going to scoot the sustain knob up so you can kind of give it an idea of the sustain that it can actually handle. Sticking that right in front of a good drive pedal, you sustain for days. And this over here is the attack, which if you're familiar with compressors at all, this is the attack at which it actually starts its compression. So we've had it about halfway. We'll go down a little bit. Scoot the blend a little bit there. Then we're going to go all the way to the complete 180 of it. So definitely does its thing. Uh, depending on what you're looking for, if you have a really clean signal, not a lot of overdrive, you'll probably want the attack up fairly mount. But if you have an overdrive in front of it, you're probably going to have the attack down a little bit, maybe your blend down a little bit. That way you can get a nice mix of both of them. 
Uh, everything pretty much is what it is right there. It's a very, very, very versatile analog compressor. No digital stuff in there. It's all analog. Uh, I think Electromonics just hit it out of the park with this thing. It's small, does its thing. It's not real expensive. You can pick it up down at Mantova's Two Street Music. They carry all the electro harmonic effects. And this is the Tone Core Set Analog Compressor. This is Brett Alexander. We'll see you next time.